Catherine Mara says that she abandoned free and open internet as the mission of Wikipedia because those principles recapitulated a white male westernized conduct and did not end up living into the intentionality of what openness can be. Damn, that's crazy. Okay, let's go ahead and let, we'll listen to it. Here we go. I started by talking about the idea of free and open as- Does she still work at Wikipedia? She's an NPR now? Okay, so she ruined in that instead. Okay, cool. Some of our founding principles, sort of free and open source coming from the, yeah. the open source community. Well, I have come to the opinion and, and the perspective that free and open was a way of looking at the world that was inherently limited relative to what we were trying to achieve. Free and open has the best of intentionality, but in the end, what free and open often ended up doing, and particularly in the case of Wikipedia, was really capit recapitulating many of the same power structures and dynamics that exist offline prior to the advent of the internet. Mm -hmm. And so what we ended up seeing was Wikipedia really rebuilt this idea of knowledge as a whole around what the Western canon. You see the exclusion of communities, of languages, because of the ways in which Wikipedia is based on reliable sources. The idea of a written tradition is something that is particular to many, I mean, not, sorry, the idea of a written tradition, which is particular to some cultures and not to others, the ways in which we I'd ascribe notability. So if they don't write it down and then they say it happened, we're just supposed to believe it. There's like no evidence of this happening, but it's like, well, they don't have a written culture. So like, the, but there's a shaman that says that 300 years ago, um, like there was a, a 20 foot man who was their chief who rode on a moose and had a laser beam. And we're supposed to just be like, oh yeah, yeah. So how, how tall was the moose though? What the fuck? He often really comes from sort of this white male um, westernized mm -hmm. construct around who matters in societies and who is elevated and whose voices. And so some of these ideas of sort of this radical openness really did not end up with the intention, really did not end up living into the intentionality of what openness can be. So here's the real reason why this is so stupid. It's because the reason you, she's right. It is going to be about white people. Do you know why? Because it's a website for English users, and English users are a lot of fucking white people. If you started the website in Chinese, it wouldn't have been about all white people, it would have been about Chinese people. And it's such a crazy fucking common sense explanation for why this happens. And it's going to happen with NPR. It'll happen with everything. Big fucking surprise that whenever you use the dominant language of an ethnicity of people or like a group of people, then that ethnicity's values are going to be reflected the most. Like if you started this in Japanese, I, oh, I wonder what the, the Japanese, uh, what do you call it? I wonder what Japanese article would be about Pearl Harbor. What would it be about Hiroshima, Hiroshima and Nagasaki? I bet it would be different than if you made the website in English. And it's like just such a, it, it I, I, I like these people like, cause everybody gets down to like, you know, culture war, uh, you know, like anti-white people, but like on just such a surface level, this is such a stupid thing to say. How can you, like, it, 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 it's, it's insane. How, how could you, how, it, it, she's also white. Well, no, it's like, I see what she's saying and, and what she's saying has an element of truth to it because big surprise. <laughs> Here, let, let's, let's do a little bit of, um, So you have this, right? There's a lot of stuff. I wonder what the people would say if this was written as a war crime, as an immoral act, not a war crime, as a war crime, as a concealed purpose, political response in Germany. Kurt Vonnie, this is the stuff about Slaughterhouse Five. And then, yeah, so then there's this, right? Everything, you can change the language. Yes, you can change the language. You absolutely can. But that does not change the fact that this website was started and is mainly focused around an English audience. That's the truth. The problem is that with people like this, they don't have a solution. They can only see problems. And that's a, that's a good question, right? It's like, which thing do you think should be removed? 
And which thing do you think should be added instead? These are people who can only deconstruct existing power structures, but don't know how to replace them or have any sort of like a uh, solution to like what they're deconstructing. The English version of articles uh, are usually most extensive and detailed. Yeah, of course. The Japanese won't look at the English version if they see the Japanese one. Yeah, I know that. But what's she reading? Is she reading the Japanese one or is she reading the English one? She's reading the English one. So she's, again, thinking about it from a Western perspective. So stop donating? No, I totally support Wikipedia. I think Wikipedia is the best thing that we have. And I think it sucks in a lot of cases, but it's better than anything else that we have. So, like, yeah, I support Wikipedia. It, it's, that's it. Hiroshima and Nagasaki were a necessary evil, though. You, you're not understanding my point. My point is that I guarantee you that if you ask Japanese people, and this was crowdsourced by Japanese people, they probably wouldn't see it that way. And I'm saying that, like, she's right. She's right, but she's not right for any sort of, like, a power structure reason. She's right because the language and the website is all based around, like, English and Western culture. Fucking duh. Wikipedia is on point whenever it comes to car information. Usually anything that's not controversial, Wikipedia is extremely accurate about. And then things that are controversial, uh, you know, it's very hit and miss. That's what my experience has been, at least. It's very clear that people like this don't really even think about what they're saying. Wikipedia co-founder says site is now propaganda. Wait, what? There's another one. Wikipedia co-founder Larry Sanger warned the website can no longer be trusted, insisting that it's now propaganda for left-leaning establishment. Uh, Sanger told uh, Wednesday that the Encyclopedia of Opinion in 2001, purely on the basis that it would offer true neutrality and offer multiple points of view on hot-button issues, now he insisted conservative voices are sternly warned, if not kicked out, if they try to voice a different take on establishment views, which Sanger deemed as propaganda. It is. That is, it's absolutely propaganda. It's not even a question. Uh, yeah, you can't cite Fox News on socio-political issues. It's banned now. I do think that Wikipedia is an incredibly important resource. And if one group of people makes the other group of people's point of view against the rules, I think this is bad. I think Fox News is just as bullshit as all of you guys do. At least I hope so. But I also think CNN is also bullshit. I think CBS is bull. I think they're all bullshit. It's not like Fox News has a monopoly on bullshit. They all do. And that's what the problem is. I have no problem with saying none of them are okay, but it should either be all of them or none of them. It shouldn't be some. Uh, it means if controversy does not appear in the mainstream center-left media, then it's not going to appear in Wikipedia. Now you can rely on the site to give an establishment point of view rather than the diverse range of opinions that it was set up to give. I don't think that Wikipedia, like, my, my viewpoint on Wikipedia is that it was never meant for opinions. Like, it, like an encyclopedia is, like, listing out things that happened. It's like, this either happened or it didn't happen. The interpretation of it happening, that should be on a separate page. It was like a dictionary. Yes, exactly. It should just be for facts. Like, not the interpretation of the facts. Now, obviously, as we all know, the way that you um, explain facts gives you a lot of room for bias. It, of course, does. But I still think this is, uh, it, it's very problematic. It's a science of information. Yes, it is. There's a little section for opinions. Yeah, and in that case, I think it's totally fine. Uh, if only one version of facts is allowed, then that gives a huge incentive to wealthy and powerful people to seize control of things like Wikipedia in order to shore up their power. That's true. And they do that. There's a very big, nasty, complex game being played behind the scenes to make an article say what somebody wants them to say. There are all kinds of tricks people can play to win it, including the dedicated use of PR companies to influence listings. Uh, Co-finder sounded the entry for President Biden, noted that it has very little in the way of concerns that Republicans have about them. Okay, let's see. Uh, yeah, it's bullshit. It 100% is. So the word that I was searching for, 
Um, I'll go ahead and I'll pull it up. Joe Biden said a very long time ago that uh, back in 1977, he said that you, uh, forced uh, busing to desegregate schools would cause his children to grow up in a racial jungle. So this is something he said in 1977. Uh, this is incredibly problematic. You know, because, like, segregation's bad, right? Remember, because, like, you know, the whole thing with, like, you know, Civil War, Martin Luther King, you know, like, slavery, it's bad. So segregation is bad. And so if I search that term in Joe Biden's, uh, in his Wikipedia, it does not come up. As a black guy, who cares? It's not about, well, I don't know. Like, I, 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 I feel like, uh, bro, this is the way I see it. I'm not a black guy. Like, what the fuck do I think? But, like, how the fuck can you trust this piece of shit that said that whenever Bernie Sanders was getting arrested for, for civil rights? Even before this. How the fuck can you trust this guy? 45 years ago? Yeah, but, like, 45 years ago was still wrong. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. Like, that, that, that's my opinion. Like, you can have whatever opinion you want. But it was a big deal at the time. Yeah, exactly. And so, uh, yeah, if Trump said that, imagine. Yeah, exactly. The fact that that's not added in makes me... I, I completely believe him. I completely do. The idea that that isn't in the Wikipedia entry for Joe Biden, that is insane. I don't really trust Wikipedia that much, but I do trust Wikipedia more than almost anything else. Uh, I'll definitely tell you that. Like, uh... It's not like I trust Fox News or anything else more than that. Look to see if Trump controversies are mentioned. Um, well, I mean, everybody knows they are. I mean, do we really have to go look this up? I mean, of course they are. It's not even a question. But yeah, I just think like the uh, the mindset that like people like this have is just like so reductive and stupid. I, I wouldn't trust them at all.